One of the typical uh, story type problems that you see in a beginning algebra class is termed a mixture problem. And typically what happens is that we mix two different items at uh, varying prices per item, and we wish to sell a mixture of the two items at a, at a price that is somewhere located between those, the cost of those two items. Well, here's a problem. Walmart sells um, raisins for $2.15 a pound and almonds for $6 a pound. How many pounds of each should be included to make a barrel of 200 pounds of the mixture, which they sell at $4.46 a pound? So we want to make a mixture of 200 pounds, sell it at $4.46 a pound. And the idea behind this is that no matter how many um, pounds of raisins or almonds in that 200-pound mixture we sell, that we're going to be making the same amount of money. Okay, uh, for the 200-pound mixture, as we were if we're going to sell the items separately for their original prices of 2.15 a pound and six dollars a pound. Let's take a look at uh, at the solution here. Let's set up the problem first. These problems are best organized or set up usually in a in a box which contains all of the uh, the, the important information here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to be using two unknowns. Uh, X is the number of pounds of raisins. Y is the number of pounds of almonds. So I have a column for number of pounds, column for price per pound, and the dollar sign here column is basically how much money we're going to make by selling so many pounds at, at a certain price per pound. Um, as I fill this in, I've got raisins, almonds, and the mixture. I know that um, a total of 200 pounds in the mixture is required. Okay, so I'll put a 200 down here at the bottom in the mixture. Here's the original price of the raisins per pound, of the almonds per pound, and here's the price of the mixture per pound. We want to sell the mixture at 446 a pound. Multiplying across, because I know that when I have um, a certain number of pounds of raisins, or any item, times the price per pound, uh, I just multiply um, those two together, and I wind up with an expression that will, that will give me either the cost of the of the that particular item or whatever the proceeds will be. I do the same thing for the almonds. I have y pounds of almonds and six dollars a pound. I can write that as six y. Now this last entry over here, eight hundred ninety-two dollars. Where does that come from? It's not. It's not in the problem. But really, if, if I'm making a mixture of 200 pounds and I want to sell them at $4.46 a pound, when I multiply pounds times the price per pound, I get this number $892. Okay. So what we're trying to do is whenever we have um, a problem that we're trying, where we have two unknowns, X and Y, for example, we need to have two linear equations. We need to come up with two equations and solve those equations by techniques uh, that we have previously learned on how to, how to solve a system of equations. So here are my, uh, my two equations. The first one is x plus y equals 200. Right here, that's my first linear equation. It comes from the first column for the number of pounds. The second equation comes from the second column. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, not from the second column, but from the, the third column, which is 2.15x, okay, that's the money taken in from the raisins, plus 6y, which is the money taken in from the almonds, is equal to a total of $892. Okay? Uh, now I need to be able to solve this system, and I'm going to solve it by substitution, because substitution is the most direct uh, technique on how to solve the system. Um, the first equation, when I solve by substitution, I solve for one variable. You could solve for either x or y. What I've done here is I've solved the first equation for y. could have solved for x. doesn't matter. I would subtract x from each side of this equation. And that's how I get the second one, this right here, y equals 200 minus x. Now what I do is I take whatever what y is equal to right here in the second equation, I replace it with 200 minus x. 
And when I multiply, since that is a binomial, I do two multiplications. 6 times 200 is 1,200. 6 times x is 6x. X. And I wind up with 2.15x plus 1,200 minus 6x equals 892. Notice now I have a, an equation, a linear equation, in only one variable. And I'm pretty good at solving those. I combine my like terms. 2.15 minus 6 is negative 3.85. And then I take the tw plus 1,200 and I move it over to the 892 by subtracting 1,200. And I wind up with negative 308. Sol solving this linear equation, divide both sides by negative 3.85. Whoops, negative 3.85. I wind up with x is 80. So I wind up with x is 80, means there are 80 pounds of raisins. Now I need to find y. In order to find y, you can use either one of the equations that you created in order to find y. Obviously, the simplest one is x plus y equals 200. When I plug in x is 80, I get y is equal to 120. So I wind up with 120 pounds of almonds. So I get 80 pounds of raisins, 120 pounds of almonds. Let's take a look at our answer and see. Uh, if this makes sense, if it checks. So I have 80 pounds of raisins, 120 pounds of almonds. That's my answer. So the first thing we need to make sure is that we have a total of, 100, of 200 pounds, and we certainly do. Total mixture of 200 pounds. Now, if I take 80 pounds of the raisins, and the original price was $2.15 a pound, right? and I'm going to add 120 pounds of the almonds, and the original price was $6 a pound. Okay, That turns out to be, if you do the math on that, that turns out to be $172 from the raisins and $720 from the uh, almonds for a total of $892. And that is also equal to, and here's the, here's the important part, um, that's also equal to $892 is also equal to 200 times the mixture price. So 200 pounds times the mixture price of $4.46 a pound also turns out to be $892. So those two numbers are the same. So what I've done is I've mixed a certain number of pounds of, of raisins with so many pounds of almonds to make a mixture that I'm going to sell at $4.46 a pound. Mixture problems.